This wasn't just a plane crash. It was a jumbo jet, slowly coming apart in midair. And it all started with one bad repair, done years before the flight. The 12th of August, 1985. Japan Airlines Flight 123 takes off from Tokyo, heading to Osaka. A Boeing 747 Steradians carrying 524 people. A busy domestic flight. Nothing unusual. Nothing dramatic. Everything feels like a normal afternoon. The crew is professional and calm. Passengers relax, read, chat, or look out the window. No storm. But behind that normal scene is a hidden crack. Years earlier, this plane suffered a tail strike. The rear pressure bulkhead was damaged and repaired the wrong way. That repair was like a rubber band stretched too far. You don't see it snap until it breaks at the worst possible moment. Under repeated stress, that wrongly repaired structure finally gave up. The rear pressure bulkhead failed. Compressed air rushed out with huge force, damaging critical systems in the tail, including control lines. This is the nightmare. The pilots are alive, skilled, and trying to fly. But the airplane no longer listens to their commands the way it should. For long, painful minutes, the crew battles to keep the 747 inches the sky. A giant jet becomes a wounded aircraft, barely under control. They try to turn back. They try to find a place to land. But the control systems are too badly damaged. The aircraft crashes into Mount Takamagahara in Gunma, Japan. 520 people lose their lives. It remains the deadliest single aircraft accident in aviation history. JAL 123 leaves us with a chilling lesson. In aviation, a small maintenance mistake today can grow into a massive disaster years later. Sometimes, the real cause of a tragedy doesn't start in the sky. It starts on the ground, in something someone thought was good enough. Watch the next video on screen to see how this disaster reshaped aircraft maintenance standards worldwide.